Good evening, this is Brass Tax. I'm Zaka Jacob. We're just days away from the dates announcement for the Lok Sabha elections and what could be a narrative defining move, the BJP has started a campaign called Modi Ka Parivar. In a throwback to the 2019 election, when Prime Minister Modi turned Rahul Gandhi's famous Chokidar Chor Hai Jaib into a popular counter campaign called Main Bhi Chokidar Hoon. The BJP is once again hoping to do that by turning what Lalu Prasad Yadav said yesterday, the taunt against Modi saying that Modi has no parivar into a campaign of sorts. Today, the BJP's top guns, all ministers, state presidents, everyone has come out and uh, added the words Modi ka parivar to their social media profiles. But will this become like the Chaiwala moment from 2014 and the Chokidar campaign from 2019? which the BJP successfully used to set the narrative in both of those elections, or will this peter out? Because later this evening, uh, Rahul Gandhi came out and said that Modi's asli parivar is actually Adani. So will this get mired in politics, or will this be a narrative-defining campaign? Mera Bharat, Mera Parivar. ज्यादा संतान होने वाले लोगों को बोलता कि परिवार बात है परिवार के लिए लोग लड़ रहे हैं तुम्हारे पास परिवार नहीं है जिसका कोई नहीं है वो भी मोदी के हैं और मोदी उनका समाज के लिए और राष्ट्र को परम वैभव तक ले जाने के संकल्प के साथ अपने परिवार को छोड़ा था तो उसी क्षण उन्होंने यह संकल्प ले लिया था कि अब ये पूरा देश मेरा परिवार है All right, first let's take you through when such personal attacks in the past, in past election campaigns, have backfired and not, not necessarily bolstered the opposition's case. It has only ended up giving more fodder to the BJP. In 2002, in the famous uh, Gujarat election after the Godra riots, uh, Sonia Gandhi had famously called um, Narendra Modi, then Chief Minister of Gujarat, as Mot Ka Sadagar. This was, of course, ahead of the 20, 2007 elections. The result, the Congress lost the 2007 Gujarat polls. In 2014, most famously Manishankar Ayer, who was a minister in the then UPA government, had said that Narendra Modi is a Nietzsche Admi and that he's capable of only selling chai at uh, the AICC uh, headquarters. The result, Modi won the 2014 and the 2017 Gujarat elections quite convincingly. In fact, uh, Manishankar Ayer, like I said, had said Famously, that Modi can only sell chai at the AICC headquarters. The BJP swept the 2014 general elections. BJP alone had 282 seats. Rahul Gandhi had famously made the Khun Ki Dalali jibe. The result, the BJP won the 2017 UP Assembly polls uh, with a stellar margin. Rahul Gandhi also cited the Supreme Court, claiming it had said, Chaukidar Chor hai. In a major embarrassment, he was forced to apologize to the Supreme Court. Uh, and the BJP started something called Main Bhi Chokidar campaign, for which, of course, the BJP won the 2019 election. Malikarjun Kharge, the Congress president, had referred to Prime Minister Modi as Ravan. The BJP later swept the 2022 Gujarat polls. And most recently, in the 2023 winter elections, Rahul Gandhi had called Prime Minister Panati after the Indian cricket team's World Cup loss. The Congress ended up losing in Madhya Pradesh, in Rajasthan and in Chhattisgarh. So, the BJP is hoping to turn this into a counter campaign, much like they did with Mehbi Chokidar Hu in 2014, uh, 2019, and of course the famous Chai Pe Charcha in 2014. But will this work or will this be a passing comment? Let me now go across to our guests who are joining us. Duhin Sina is national spokesperson of the BJP. Madhu Gaud Yaski is spokesperson of the Congress Party. Suman C. Raman, author and political analyst. Tushar Gupta, senior journalist, also joining us. Uh, let me start with uh, Madhu Gaud Yaski. You know, the Congress and other opposition parties have done this in the past and it seems like, Mr. Yaski, 
you have not learnt your lesson, whether it was Chaiwala in 2014, whether it was Chaukidar in 2019, it has only served Mr. Modi's purpose every time the opposition makes a personal jibe at him. Jaka, I am really surprised. How come you only pick up, pick, pick and choose? Making elect during elections, Mr. Modi makes so many statements or opposition parties. Why can't we discuss what Mr. Modi has promised in 2014 that he will bring back those black money stationed abroad within 100 days and he will deposit 15 lakhs into every citizen of India's account? He promised 2 crore jobs to the youth of India. Why can't we discuss those? You are only talking about those slogans and what Mr. Modi even talks about late Pandit Nehruji. How many years ago you passed away? Is it practice of Mr. Modi to defame the national icons? And he owns Sardar Patel to Manmohan Singh Ji to P.V. Narasimha They are all Congress party prime ministers. And this is the practice instead of we are discussing about the failures of the current Modi ji's government and we are only talking about a statement made by few opposition leaders and forgetting whatever Mr. Modi makes against the leaders and he hugged them, he, <coughs> he accused those leaders of corruption and when they joined the BJP, there is no discussion at all. Right from Sujana Chaudhary to so many leaders of opposition MPs okay. accused of embezzling public money, bank, looting banks and the joint BJP party and everything is Ganga Jhel ho jata, clean ho jata hai. Okay. So, so let me discuss about those ask Tuhin Sina, the, the, the Congress country, spokesperson saying we should be talking about the about false promises that Mr. Modi made in 2014 and in 2019, the unkept and promises. And instead, the media is just focused on these personal attacks, which of course suits the BJP because every time there's a personal attack against the Prime Minister, it tends to work for him electorally. Tuin. Well, good evening, Zaka. Good evening, everybody. I don't think the Congress should be pontificating on this issue because the Congress leader, Rahul Gandhi, you know, he needs a crash course on MRP, MSP and GST, whether petrol and uh, diesel are included under GST. So those who don't even have the basic ability to raise the right issues should not be lecturing us. Point is, Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji, from a very young age, has sacrificed his family bonds to dedicate himself wholeheartedly and entirely to the cause of the nation. So his family is 140 crore people. That explains why he works till 3.30 in the night and then starts his day again at 8 in the morning for a full day of multiple rallies and then comes back to Delhi in the night for another round of meetings. That can only happen when you don't Treat your job as an official responsibility, but see it as a vocation, see it as a dedication towards your family. Yesterday, there was a meeting of the Council of Ministers. Imagine at the fag end of his second term, he is convening a meeting of the Council of Ministers to decide on the agenda for the next 100 days. That can only happen when you treat your job as a vocation and all your countrymen and all the citizens of your country as your family members. Okay. But unfortunately... This opposition and especially professional and habitual scamsters like Lalu Yadav have misused the term family for self-aggrandizing and vicious initiatives. We all know that, you know, in the heart of <coughs> Delhi in Saket, a bungalow worth some 130 crores was acquired by his family by paying a few lakhs. These are the shady activities which these, which these politicians so from let opposition me ask indulge in. Raman, by the way, when Congress... That you know, at a time when Parivar Vaad is seen as a, has with negative connotations and the dynastic politics is looked down upon, the BJP, sorry, the uh, the opposition parties, in this case Mr. Lal Prasad, to give this issue on a platter to the BJP and to the Prime Minister, it just doesn't make any sense. Why would the opposition, A, not having learned from Chaukidar and Chaiwala uh, in the previous elections, now is also picking on an issue which is again playing on the BJP's turf. It's not an opposition strong issue. It's a BJP strong issue. Uh, Zaka, I think first of all, I will say uh, probably Mr. Lalu Yadav should not have said what he did. Having said that, uh, I think this whole issue of these personal attacks 
um, you know, resulting in election defeats for the opposition. In 2014 and, you know, perhaps uh, to a lesser extent in 2019, Mr. Modi was seen, in 2014 certainly, he was seen as an outsider. And he was seen as this, uh, you know, person coming from a humble background who is aspiring for the highest office in the land, so on. And to some extent in 2019, thanks to his, uh, you know, ability to communicate, he kept that narrative going. I don't think that, uh, you know, the, the losses uh, that the Congress got in uh, Madhya Pradesh or Rajasthan or Chhattisgarh had anything to do with uh, the Panauti remark. Uh, uh, and maybe if Rahul Gandhi had not said Panauti, I don't believe the Congress would have won those states. So I, that is that is besides the point. The point really is that um, Mr. Tuin Sinha mentioned about Lalu Yadav being corrupt and, and uh, you know, co convict and so on. Uh, now, obviously, this corruption is only as long as he is an opposition leader. We remember uh, what remember what the Prime Minister spoke about. He's Mr. a convicted Ajit criminal, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But uh, the thing is, he's not been purified yet because he's not joined the BJP. Mr. Ajit Pawar, who made the charges against Mr. Ajit Pawar? Oh, no, you are accusing the courts. I'm sorry, you are casting aspersions on the judiciary. No, 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 Mr. Uh, Sinha, you are not understanding. Either of you are saying that you went on and made false charges against Narayan Rane, against uh, Sujana Choudhury, uh, against They Ajit have never Pawar, been convicted. Against... You are drawing a wrong equivalent. Sorry, our family. Sir, they have one, never, one the minute, people sir. you are mentioning have never one, been one, 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 one second, Dr. Raman, but I think that's an important distinction. Lalu Yadav has been convicted no, no, in multiple for yes. scam cases, not one. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, the point really is that today Mr. Lalu Yadav is uh, on the face of it attracting such a mammoth crowd that we saw here at the, uh, uh, at, uh, at the Gandhi Maidan in Patna. Uh, three days ago. Now, the point is, I'm not saying whether that is right or wrong. That is a different uh, debate altogether. But the point okay. is, there are dozens of politicians who have been accused by the BJP of corruption and of the worst kind of misdeeds who are now either supporting BJP governments or within the BJP itself. Let's be very clear on that, Zaka. And the okay. cases against them have so, all come to a mysterious grinding halt. So in most let me let me uh, ask uh, Tushar. None of them uh, have been accepted. Yeah, let, let me ask Tushar, Tushar <laughs> this. You know, uh, leave aside the the Parivarvad jibe and you know the Prime Minister trying to turn the tables back on the opposition by getting everyone in the BJP to say Modi ka Parivar. I don't know if that will be a narrative defining or narrative setting issue, but I think what is clear is that you have barely a week to go before the dates are announced. The BJP seems to be off the block. They have already declared 195 candidates. Uh, the manifesto uh, is being publicized and popularized in tours that leaders are taking across uh, the country. On the other hand, the India Alliance has still not stitched up its alliances. The Congress is still saying that it wants to fight 250, 275 seats. But I don't, I don't see any candidate list being uh, uh, put out. The BJP has declared almost 200 candidates uh, on Saturday. They seem to have gotten off the blocks much faster. I mean, the reason, the, what I'm trying to get at is, it seems like the BJP is getting to a head start in this election, but the opposition is still not able to get its act together. Good evening, Zaka. Let's get a couple of things out of the way. Number one, the opposition doesn't want to learn. In 2014, they called him an outsider. In 2019, it was Chokidar Chorhe. Today, they're asking whereabouts of his family. They are mocking him. Look at how the country is responding. And this is not political ignorance being displayed by the opposition. This is ground ignorance. If only the leaders who are making such remarks every now and then, be it from the Congress or from the RGD, had met the women who have been empowered by this government through Mudra loans, through Avas Yojana, through Jandan accounts, through the self-help groups, or the farmers through FPOs or the Kisan Samman Yojana, or any other welfare program, this government has created 100 crore labarthis. Those Labarthis resonate with the Prime Minister. They welcome him as they would welcome a family member. Now, how can this be missed by the opposition? How can they not understand the resonance between the voters and the Prime Minister? Nevertheless, coming to the India Alliance. Zaka, six months ago, the alliance was formed. We were told this is going to be the grand alliance that's going to take down the opposition. Did you just see what was going on in the Punjab State Assembly today? The chief minister bickering with the leader of the opposition in a very crude language and some of very absurd language. 
and that LOP is from the Congress. And we are told there is an alliance of the Congress and Aam Aadmi Party in Punjab. We were told there is an alliance of the Congress and Mamta Banerjee in Bengal. Do you see even a single list? We are told that because Aam Aadmi Party and the Congress have seven declarations in Delhi, there is an alliance in place. But does this Nikhil alliance look like one which RJD. will win an election? And coming, and friend, coming to the 195 what candidates... What Mr. Nitish Kumar was talking about Narendra Modi and BJP when he was aligned with the RJD and Congress in Bihar? You forgot no, no. that. Then why could you not retain Nitish Kumar? You were the what ones was he talking who about Narendra Modi and, and BJP. Sir, please listen. You were the ones who were brought together by Under Nitish Kumar. Under certain now you have him. No, no, but Yaski sahab, what happened to Nitish Kumar? Nitish Kumar left. He was, he was one of, the, one of the founding hey. leaders of the India Alliance. What happened to him? You were not able to retain Zaka, him. Zaka, he went off. Zaka. Zaka. Zaka, one final Two point, things. one important no, no. point. Of the See, 195 BJP's seats for which the candidates have been declared, the BJP the won 160 of them in 2019. They are already on the trot for the seats that they want the to win again in 2024. Okay. Congress and Ramadmi Le spoke about Le each other. No, no, Mr. Mr. Yaski. No, no, once again. About Modi and Modi well, once again, Mr. Yaski, I, 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 I'm asking my producer if they can pull out that clip. This was Bhagwant Maan and Mr. Bajwa, the Congress leader of the opposition in Punjab, having a complete go at each other. Public meltdown was happening between the two of them in the, in the full glare of television please, cameras. Please but be there as it may. No, no, be there as it may. I have a larger question to ask. Mr. Yaski, please, please hear me out. Ten seconds. I have a larger question to ask. Ever yeah. since Rahul Gandhi started the Bharat Jodo Yatra, Mamta Banerjee has said she's going to contest in Bengal alone. Mr. Nitish Kumar has left the India Alliance lock, stock and barrel. Even with the Samajwadi party in Uttar Pradesh, you still have not publicly finalized and announced seat sharing. So please, and of course, with the Amadmi party, like I said, in Delhi, a 4-3 formula has been agreed. Who the candidates are, we don't know. In Punjab, it does not apply. In fact, Bhagwan Maan today in that whole, you know, complete public sparring match he had with Mr. Bajwa, he said, go and tell Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi, we don't want your seats in Gujarat and in Maharashtra and in Haryana. We'll fight on our own. He said this publicly. This is a sitting chief minister of your alliance partner, so Mr. Yaski. Will you allow me to reply? Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. Yes, allow of course. Me to reply? Yes. Of course. Thanks. You are asking for that. Please, can you also pull up the statements made by Mr. Nitish Kumar when he is aligned with RJD and Congress in Bihar? What he spoke about Narendra Modi ji and BJP party and government. Please also pull up the Ajit Pawar statements or Mr. Modi ji statements against Ajit Pawar. What kind of statement you made? Please also pull up the statements of Chandra Babu Naidu, TDP party and BJP party when they aligned in 2014 and 2018 they left and fought fighting each other. What Mr. Babu has said about Modi and Modi ji what said about Chandra Babu Naidu. Please pull out those statements also. What about your Punjab Lok Dal, Punjab part, Badal party, Akali Dal? Oh. Can I, what, can I come what in? they were they were together and now they are fighting each other. One difference. One we difference. Pull up those yeah, also. Yeah, yeah, finish us, though, yeah. Our yeah. partners and differences. Please pull up those also. Okay. okay. One distinction. So, Tushar, Tushar yeah, you, you have one distinction yeah. one from distinction. what Mr. Yaski has said. Huh? One distinction with all with all humility for the Congress spokesperson, sir. You are fighting, or your alliance partners are fighting after the alliance has been declared. The BJP and the current allies it had they sorted out their differences. And then they entered into an alliance. Let's understand the distinction at play here. Your parties Zaka. came together six months ago. Okay. They promised a grand alliance against the BJP. And now they are feuding Zaka. amongst okay. themselves. No, but let me, let, BJP, once again, BJP, once again, you've made that point. Let me go to Tuhin and to, and to See, Dr. Dr. Raman Zaka, after this. I'll, I'll, I'll once again, sir, once again, please. That. Once again, let, 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 me, let me please go to Tuhin. Let me please go to Tuhin and to Dr. Raman. Tuhin, you know, the point is that allies sometimes par, sometimes don't. Uh, the, the BJP has not necessarily always had the best of allies with Shiv Sena when you were aligned with Uddhav Thakre and since you come from Mumbai. You know, the kind of things he said even while he was in your alliance was not exactly pleasant. So you can't judge the uh, effectiveness or otherwise of an alliance simply by what the allies are saying about each other. It's about whether it works on the ground. Tuin. You know, you're talking about alliance partners. Fact is that Rahul Gandhi is being insulted by his own CM, Revant Reddy. You know, today Revant Reddy says that, you know, he will follow the Gujarat model of development in Telangana and he calls Modi ji's elder brother. 
Now Rahul Gandhi says that Modi ji ka ek hi parivar hai Adani. Two months ago, or one month ago rather, in uh, in January, we saw Revanta Reddy reach out to Adani uh, abroad. So who takes Rahul Gandhi seriously? You are talking about you know our our alliance partners in the past sparring at us, but today. Even within the Congress party, nobody takes Rahul Gandhi seriously. That is the, you know, the Congress spokesperson wants you to pull statements of Nitish Kumar in the past. I want him to pull the, uh, the statements of his own party workers. Why is Revanth Reddy not treating Rahul Gandhi seriously? Mr. Yaski, you, you, you come from that state, you're from that city. He's your chief minister. Look at what he has said today about Mr. Modi. Yes. Yes, what, what, let me, let me make it very clear. What Ms. Revanth Reddy said it is, Prime Minister is like a big brother. He didn't Did say he meet that you are my big not? brother. So, you, you are Prime Minister of the country. You are not Prime Minister of a particular BJP ruled states only. So, he, what he is mentioned is that if you want to have this 5 million, 5 trillion economy, you have to take 5 global cities, Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Bangalore and Hyderabad also into conference and help develop these states also. Like you did in Gujarat, you are helping Gujarat so much. No, that's a Help Telangana also to no, prosper. No, no. So okay. that was no, the no, state. What did he mean? He made it in Hindi. And that was very clear. Dr. Suman Raman. Regarding Adani's investment. Just one second. One second, Mr. Yaski. Let Dr. Suman Raman come in. Quick, Jaka. One quick statement is what Mr. Rahul Gandhi is again again saying. Yeah, don't Zaka, Zaka, don't no, no, just one second, please. Zaka, two, two quick points. Uh, one, I, I think the concept of the India Alliance has not been understood. The India Alliance has come together purely at the national level to attempt to defeat the BJP. Every one of their leaders said that. In the early press meets, they said very clearly, we continue to be rivals at the state level. I don't think Mr. Tuhin Sina has seen those press uh, press. Uh, conferences where the leaders of Ahmadmi party, leaders of the Congress party explicitly said we continue to be rivals at the state level. We are coming together for one purpose at the national level and for this one election period. So therefore to say that Mr. Bajwa was uh, shouting at Mr. Man, I don't know what uh, how how this impacts the India alliance except that it, it can be used as propaganda no no, or, no, no. Uh, one second one second or, dr raman i i'll tell you what I, the the basic yeah. idea of all these parties coming together of course was to <laughs> defeat the bjp and the strategy that they said would be the the strategy to defeat the bjp was if they can find common candidates in maximum candidate. number of seats against exactly. the bjp candidate right so, for example, By the way, if Delhi, De Amarmi Party yeah. announced its candidate. Yeah, yeah, once again. So, in, in Delhi, for no, example, no, 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 in, the seven, in the seven seats, if they can find common candidates in these seven seats, one candidate, opposition candidate, to take on the BJP. Exactly. I am asking you, after, not just after, but more so after what we saw in the Punjab Assembly today, how are the Congress and the Amarmi Party going to find it, common candidates in 13 seats in matter, Punjab? Zaka, in a state like Kerala or Punjab, it does not matter whether AAP wins or whether Congress wins. Very likely, they will even contest against each other, whether you call them quote-unquote friendly contests or not. The left front is part then of the India how, Alliance. How the left alliance? front has already announced it's, it's, its candidates for Kerala. Are contesting so what are one second, Tushar, let him finish. I'll come to you. Let, let him finish. These, yeah. are, these are one minute. Uh. Common sense will tell us that these are states where the BJP is not going to win seats. So it does not matter. What matters is, do they put up a common candidate in Maharashtra? Do they put up a common candidate in Bengal? Do they put up a common candidate in Bihar? No, but in Bengal, Mamta Banerjee has said she's UP? not. No, in Bengal, she has said no, she, she's, she's not putting up. Congress, she's not. She's Congress not putting up uh, joint candidates. Even even yesterday, the Congress has said that uh, backroom uh, talks are going on. And an okay. attempt will be found. So, to Tushar, the candidate. logic is in Bengal, for example, irrespective of whether Mamta Banerjee wins or left wins or Congress wins, all those seats go into the India Alliance kitty. So, Zaka, the logic is that where the BJP doesn't do well or where it doesn't sweep the state, that is where the India Alliance can actually play a crucial part. So, in Punjab, there are 13 seats. The Alliance won't go for all 13 seats with a common candidate. Instead, you will have AAP against the Congress. In Kerala, where the BJP is not a majority player, again, you will have the Communists against Congress. And the Communists have already announced 
that they won the seat of Vainad back from Rahul Gandhi. So where does the alliance actually work? In Maharashtra, we are not hearing anything. In UP, we are not hearing anything. In Bihar, we are not Bihar? hearing anything. Bengal, I think Odisha, Chattis, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, the Congress party is struggling with Sir, infighting. I need to check forget your the hearing. alliance, Mr. Raman. Forget the alliance, Sir, Mr. Raman. Your UP, party UP is collapsing under its own weight. Come. You have not heard it. You Where are the candidates the list? UP, Where is the board. candidates list, sir? Where is the Why candidates list? Candidates is Rahul, Rahul Gandhi fighting from Amiti? Is Rahul Gandhi fighting from Amiti? Is Priyanka Gandhi fighting from Raibareli? Is Priyanka Gandhi fighting from Raibareli? The elections are going to be just a week from now, sir. Okay, one second. One second, one second, please. One second, one second. No, no, one, one second. Final point. I, I, Zaka, I want one to... final point. Okay, one final, one final point. point. Ten final seconds. Point. Ten seconds. Yeah. The last six months. Last no, six no, months. No, there have been a lot of rhetoric, a lot of jargon thrown about the lights. But when it comes to ground strategic vote transfer, common candidate, nothing has happened. Nothing has moved. Okay. No, this idea that just because yeah, parties come together. One, one second. One second. One second. One second. The idea that j parties just uh, come together. And on the ground, the votes of one party will transfer to another party's candidate. That entire myth has been busted, not least, of course, in the 2019 elections in the Lok Sabha, where the two biggest parties in Uttar Pradesh, SP and BSP, came together. And you saw tr vote transfer of one party going to the other, but you didn't see vote transfer of the second party going to the first. And I think that that whole myth has been completely busted. But Madhu Gaudiaski, again, even in Uttar Pradesh, so far, what we've heard is leaks in the media saying SP is willing to give 11 seats. I think they went up to 15 seats. Nowhere has it been officially signed, sealed and delivered that these are the f X number of seats that Congress is fighting and these are the X number of seats that uh, Samajwadi Party is fighting. Even there, you have lost a small party like the RLD. Even in Uttar Pradesh. Zaka, let, let me quickly, quickly give the previous uh, experience, UPA won, where the left parties have supported UPA government and we fought against left parties, CPM, CPI in Kerala and West Bengal, we came to power. So this is a successful practice of common minimum program and brought so many right to information act to employment guarantee schemes to right to education, many schemes have been launched during UPA one government. So there is no need to worry. Why the BJP is so much worried about our in differences, seat bargaining, which is happening? It is happening with BJP in the Andhra Pradesh also. They are aligned, whether they are trying to align with the TDP or YSRCP, they are still working out on seat sharing. So these are the bargaining tactics happens in politics. It is very common. It is our problem to deal with SP in UP, Ahmadmi party in Punjab and elsewhere. So, BJP should be happy if you have not come to a conclusion. So, let us deal with our own problem of, de de of dealing with our friendly parties and uh, seat sharing with work out. So, the question here, what Mr. Modi has promised and what he has delivered in 10 years? He is still talking about Congress government of 10 years ago. He talks about Parivar. Yes, I am proud to be Gandhi Parivar family party rather than God say Parivar family which BJP clay takes proud on being claimed okay. to be a God say Parivar. To in, we to are proud respond. to be Gandhi Parivar family party. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know how ignorant you know the Congress party can be. Twenty-five crore people pulled out of multi-dimensional poverty in the last ten years. If that is not an achievement, you know, then nothing can be an achievement for the Congress party. Uh, infrastructure creation of an unprecedented level, whether it is a 70% increase in the stretch of highways, doubling the total airports, if that is not uh, an achievement, then nothing can be an achievement for the Congress party. But you know, let me come, the bottom line today is that these, this Indy alliance is a grotesque conglomeration of parties which have willingly so decided you, you're to you're agreeing that you're an Indian government, my friend. You're agreeing that you're an Indian government. One at a time, one at a time. Let him answer, please. was the first person. Mamta Banerjee, it was not us. Mamta Banerjee was the first person to ridicule Congress and challenge them by saying that they cannot even win 40 seats. We have seen Akhilesh no, no. Yadav win rally but, but after Tuhin, rally Tuhin, in Madhya Pradesh. One second, one second. You know, when, 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 you, when you say, say Parivarvad, no, no, when you say Parivarvad and every BJP member goes rails and rants against the opposition for Parivarvad, in your first list, you have given a ticket to Basuri Swaraj, who is a late uh, minister, Sushma Swaraj's daughter. You have given a ticket to Dushan Singh, who is Vasundra Raj's no, no, son. Think, 
so i mean you guys are just as guilty of parivarwad no, no, i think you know i think there are there are yeah. some no 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 i think you've got it all wrong jaka there are some journalists who cannot uh, That's you a know double standard what double is standard of the bjp you, you, know, you should be very India. clear parivarwad let me let me define it for you once and for all parivarwad is when by virtue of a certain leader holding a certain position by virtue of your pedigree holding a certain position in the party by default you become a natural claimant to that position that is not the case with basuri swaraj or dushan singh basuri swaraj has been very active with delhi bjp for the last few years she held up she has an official position and she has been actively working on the ground okay. so i don't I mean, see where is the comparison she is not claiming okay. to be a minister like Sh sushma Suma swaraj she is not claiming to be uh, no, no, my, you know a party president so, so meena ji what about ajit pawar meena ji like he didn't perform why did you align with ajit pawar no Please no explain. one second one second one at a time yeah dr uh, sumant raman yeah no no my my question was look you replace four out of the five candidates uh, uh, in delhi or uh, what what was is that an admission that they didn't perform no but parties Fear can the change their no, candidates no, what no, is no, i mean last no, election no no, 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 no one, second, one, one second 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 please gentlemen gentlemen one second dr raman mr modi from 20 years ago when he was gujarat chief minister this was part of an election strategy to change 15 20 30 percent of his candidates thereby you cut no. local level anti incumbency it's always been the case Look, what do you mean by local level anti-incumbency? It Against is basically an admission. MLA or the MP. It is basically an admission that they did not perform. Why But don't you say that? Can I answer? You are coaching it in language local no. level anti-incumbency. No, no. What there is, there is a answer, there is a please. term called local level so anti-incumbency against individual MLAs or MPs. Perform. No, no. One second. No, what do you mean? In in in, in Uttar perform. Pradesh. No, no. By this logic, in Uttar Pradesh, they have released fifty-one names. I think almost all of them are repeat candidates. Forty-seven so are renominated. No, no. What does what does that mean? That there is no anti-incumbency against any of them? No, it does not. It, these are election strategies, I'm, which is fair I'm enough. But all I am asking is. Yeah. Zakka, can I can I answer? Yeah, him? yeah. Tuin, no, yeah. No, Tuin, my yeah. point very clearly. Tuin, yeah. Tuin. You know, there are twenty crore plus members in BJP. and i think you know it should be appreciated we are giving a chance to newcomers what sort of mentality does mr suman have where he say, where he believes that you know uh, existing candidates should not be replaced and who are these people to ask us questions there is not a single safe seat for either rahul gandhi or sonia gandhi across the country and these people should be asking us questions no no sonia gandhi has gone to the rajya sabha i don't think she is looking for a lok sabha safe seat as you say no, because she did not find she did not find a single safe constituency across the country She will no, no. soon also go to the visitors gallery. Ost ostensibly for health no, 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 reasons, but no, no, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Zaka, I... B B Patel who joined B J P three days ago. Please ask Mr. Madhu Yashki. He has got a ticket now. He joined from the B R S three days back. Yep. Yeah. So he where, got where the there ticket. Nobody yes. Nobody deserving in Zahirabad to get a ticket from the B J P there. Nobody who's worked for the B J P. Come on. Everything is strategy if it is done by B J P. Everything is bungling okay. or opportunism if done. Well, I, as they say, uh, it's because of electoral success or the lack of it. If there is electoral success, it will be considered strategy. But we'll see how the story plays out. It's for the moment, thank you very much to all our guests. Uh, uh, this whole narrative-defining attempt by the BJP and by the Prime Minister to say that uh, the entire country, pura Bharat, mera parivar hai.